Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 1 and it reads, Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say to them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the man of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if, it, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people not be warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So thou, son of man, so thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bit. The sword, no sense here. Meaning, meaning destruction. The Lord gave us the word. Gave us the warning. Told us to go warn the people. But guys, more worried about who King David is. And all this other nonsense. This is foolishness, this madness, a bunch of damn bug outs, man. That, look, that are not redeeming the time. And the scripture say, cursed be he, they do of the work of the Lord deceitfully, man. False prophet. Remember, the Lord said a whole lot of deceivers. Beware of these deceivers, Israel. The Lord told you what his prophets was going to be doing. He told you what the true prophets was going to be doing. He told you what the false prophets was going to be doing. And he told you it was going to be, if you're reading, and he told you it was going to be more false prophets than true prophets. We're supposed to be warning the people. Destruction every damn well. I'm looking at the news now. Any news? I'm looking at the news now. Yellow tape all over the gas station in Fayetteville, Alabama. Just got hit with a storm. Sleazy. You're going to make it a digital system. But oh yeah, King David, King David, King David, that King David demon. When King David is in the heavens right about now, looking down, like, look at these fools. I ain't prophesying or nothing. Ezekiel 33, all, all hell breaking loose. The scripture say, feed my flock. The Lord, the Lord Yahushua said, you, you love me? You're supposed to be feeding my people with this word. You're supposed to be prophesying. Video after video, video after video. Vi you, you, come on, man. The new covenant, the new covenant, the new covenant. King David, King David, King David. Some of them, they're, they're perfect. You sick as hell. Some of you perfect. You, you catch your headaches and every damn thing, but oh yeah, you perfect. And all this other crap, man. Stick to the script. But you, but, but you false progress ain't. And y'all looking real dark, too. Got them black rings up under your eyes. All them damn demons oozing off of you. And, and for the man that want to leave, just, just leave. Don't, don't come up with no sad-ass story on why you want to leave and why you mad. Just leave and go do your own thing. Or go, shit, go, go to the pits of hell. It don't even matter, man. Just go. You got to get no long transcript of why you want to leave. Just leave. Ezekiel 33 and 1, again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, the Israelites, and say to them, when I bring a sword upon the land, which the sword represents destruction. The Lord really getting it in right about now. But but these guys, I'm saying, worried about King David, who King David is. I'm King David. No, I'm King David. You can have like, well, you can have about 100 people, you know what I'm saying, standing in the same room, screaming, they're King David, and all of them going to start fighting. This shit going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? 
A King David gonna come from Mississippi. A King David gonna come from Arizona. A King David gonna come from Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? A King David gonna come from Alaska. A King David gonna come from the pits of hell, and all of them gonna meet together and start fighting. A bunch of fake King Davids, man. Focus on the word, man. The Lord bringing a sword upon the land. We're supposed to be warning the people. If the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he see the sword, meaning destruction, coming upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Ain't nobody warning nobody no more. Just hurt their hurt crew. You know what I'm saying? The two through crew. You see? The two through crew, man. And a new guy to join him be more bugged out than the guy that he's joining. Just a bunch of damn bug outs. You see it, man. Pretty much every time they teach it, it's dark as hell. The, the majority of the time, I don't, I don't watch them. You see the little steel frames of them. Or brother might put a little clip of, of these bug outs in their videos. We, we moving on, man. We got work to do. The house is being built. If when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet, because the warning is going forth, while everybody else is playing around, tells him, I'm King David. Guys coming out of sewers, I'm King David. Guys coming out of the um, behind the woods, of the trees, I'm King David. Guys coming on camera, drunk as hell, I'm King David. Just bug the hell out, man. Guys doing the Harlem Shake, soon the video come on, then they stop all of a sudden, I'm saying, pull out some Richard wine out of their back pocket, drink it, and then they say, I'm King David, and start smiling with no damn teeth. It's just a bunch of bug outs, man. Pants tore all the hell up, stinking, smelling like shit. We supposed to be warning the people, then whosoever hears the sound of the trumpet. And take not warning, if the sword come, if destruction come, and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. You heard the sound of the trumpet, but you was too busy, you know what I'm saying, getting caught up in some nonsense. Just every video. I know I'm supposed to be warning, but damn great millstone, damn great millstone. Aye. You just threw in rage. Breaking down the scriptures wrong, looking through, looking retarded as hell. Said mistress women shall bring forth muscles, man. These dudes really retarded. Damn. Track the trailers, overturning, storms everywhere. Once again, Sleazy about to make it digital, this currency digital. He already making it there anyway. Hell, pretty much every store that I went into yesterday, hell, you couldn't use cash. You had to use a card. But oh yeah, King David, King David, King David, New Covenant, New Covenant. Do y'all not see what's going on? But, but most definitely, y'all gonna get caught up in that wrath of the Lord too. Y'all gonna get caught when that thief come, man. You see? He heard the sound of the trumpet, took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that take it warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come, you know about the definite structure. You know about the sea hip. The, the issuing in of the digital all, the karagma, you see? And you're going to be able to buy or sell. But if the watchman see the sword, you sleazy, he coming in like a madman. He's coming in like a flood, right? You got to, come on, man. It, it, it's going down, man. The Lord is getting it in, man. Taking people out like it ain't, like never before, man. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people not be warned, ain't warning nobody or nothing. Ain't said nothing about sleazy. They say their main focus is trying to find out who King David is. They, they ain't warning the people of who sleazy he is no more. They ain't said nothing about the sea hip. You know, they ain't talking about the concentration camp. They ain't talking about the famine, the race war, the class wars, earthquake. They ain't mention shit. A, a storm that took out they damn house, the roof off their house. And now they don't even mention that. Too busy worried about who King David is. This, this is crazy, man. Then it summons them King David demons, man. You guys are responsible, man, for starting all this madness, man. If the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will, will I require at the watchman's hands because you didn't want. 
So thou, son of man, have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, people before some place, therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me. So it's supposed to be warning the people. You say you got the spirit of the Lord on you. Every video is, is about talking about they done brought the grape nonsense. I left because of the, you know I'm saying I, I left because of that grape doctrine. Thought you believed in the word. We just brought out the truth according to the Bible. None of us has been accused, you know what I'm saying, or convicted for that nonsense. All right. Cause, cause if we, if we were, you think we'd be still making videos? Let, let that make sense. For everybody, keep saying we grapers. If, if we were, do you think was you do you think if I was, do you think I would be sitting here making a video? Wouldn't, wouldn't I be locked the hell up right about now? You stupid mfers. And may the Lord destroy each and every last one of you that came with that nonsense against us. The, the man, the woman, and the child. Damn them all. Revelation 19 and 10. I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. John the Revelator seeing an angel. He got ready to bow down to the angel. The angel said, no, don't do it. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. And, and they have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, Yahweh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. We're supposed to be letting our people know what's going to happen before it even happens. You see? You see? Once, once again, woe to him, you know what I'm saying, to do with the work of the Lord deceitfully, right? And holding his, his a sword back from blood, man. All hell breaking loose. Supposed to be giving him warning from the Lord, man. Oh, yeah, like I said before, I'm looking at Alabama on the news, you know and I'm saying a major storm came through there. But you got you gotta have you gotta have faith, man. Let's just bring that out right quick. So just something quick. So like it for all the rambling, I really didn't bring out too many scriptures. That's how it be sometimes, but you know, it is what it is. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You know, look, look, I ain't pushing nothing. You got to have faith to believe in what we teach anyway, according to the Bible, right? You got to believe in the things that you don't see. Blow that trumpet. We're going to see if we can get Joel too. Let's see. 6. But without faith, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, but without faith, the majority of the Israelites don't got faith in the Lord. They're too busy worried about nonsense, man. You see, there's too big. A bunch of kids, ain't nothing but a bunch of hurt babies. The, the little two through crew. The two through crew. You see, the two through crew. But without faith, without believing in something that you don't see, it is impossible to please him. To please the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him, man. This is what we're supposed to be seeking the Lord. Let's get this. First Peter chapter 5. This, is, this ain't going to be too long. Bring out a couple of scriptures tonight. I got to wrap it up. It's time to roll. You you get dude, all, all these true throughs, these bug outs, you get around, they stink like shit. They got, you, you know they got demons oozing off from them. They be stinking 144 on the screen. They be stinking like shit too, man. First Peter chapter 5. You do shit just sitting around drinking all the time with them big ass bottles, just drinking all the time, uh, just mad, just, just sobbing in misery. You see, I ain't, I ain't thankful for nothing. Just King David, King David, King David, King David. First Peter chapter five, verse two, feed the flock, we feed, feed them with what, Lord? With the word, feed the flock of the most high. Matter of fact, feed the flock. Let me, let me show you what we're going to feed them with. Just bear, bear with me. Just rolling in the spirit early this morning, man. You watching videos from the head apostles slash elder bitch, the great millstone men on down. Yeah, you, you got these other men out here bugging the hell out. And we got to report it. The Lord, the Lord said, mark them which cause division. Jeremiah 3. It says feed the flock, right? Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. Let's just blow it up. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, his mind, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. That's our job. All right. These guys feeding you with nonsense. They're feeding you with GMOs, man. And you love it, man. A bunch like um Elder Apostle Ricasse, a bunch of GMO babies. And the majority of these guys are retarded as hell, man. You can see it, man. Something's really wrong with them, man. They belong on a small bus, nothing against the small bus, but they belong these these um false Israelite groups and the and the prophets and their whole congregation, they belong on those small buses, man. They have milk cartons, man. Nothing against anybody riding them buses either. 
But that they belong on them. You see? Just, just looking out the window, looking crazy with the window halfway down. Just through. First Peter chapter 5, verse 2. Feed the flock of the Most High with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Because that's what we need. That's what's going to keep us stable. All hell breaking loose. But King David, King David, King David. All, coming out of the swimming pool, King David. Coming out of the restaurant, King David. Coming out of the woods, coming out of the sewer. Coming out of the hospital. Coming out of the damn, who knows? Coming out of the fire, King David. You see, coming out of the toilet, King David. Come on, man. Coming out of the refrigerator, King David. You name it, man. But, but the true men of the Lord are going to do what? A feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly. We do this thing willingly. Not for filthy lucrative. Nobody ain't got to pay us off, but of a ready mind. Just jet setting every day and well, you know what I'm saying? Creating more demons. Just jet setting everywhere, causing more demons. Look, look, stories of survival. Look, look, the Lord tears shut. I'm looking at the news right now, man. Hey, ain't no house right there. Just nothing but wood. You know what I'm saying? And a bunch of rubble. The Lord going to visit these guys, man. The Lord has to visit these bug outs, man. He's going to visit you, man. All this mocking, all this scoffing, all this yelling, screaming, face all close to the screen, looking through, eyes all black, raccoon eyes. But of a ready mind. It's an in season, out of season. You look, you can't correct nobody no more. Let's just, just get that right quick. You can't, but the Lord said, look, I'm going to give you the spirit to discern, you know what I'm saying? Beware, Israel. I'm going to give you the spirit to discern who's teaching the truth and who ain't. 2 Peter chapter 4, verse um, 2. You you can't rebuke. Look, look, you, so, you something wrong. You're a bug out if you corrected somebody. 2 Peter, 2 Timothy, Salakia chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word, the words of the Bible. Be instant, in season, out of season, right? Bear with me. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, and it reads, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, no matter what the weather is, Lord willing, the weather permits, go out there and teach. And if you want to leave, leave, just go teach. Do your videos, go teach. It's all lovey-dovey, man. No hard feelings. Anybody want to leave? No hard feelings. Men come, men go. All right? You're in a relationship with a woman? She want to leave, women go, women come. Women go and women come. Women come and women go. Ain't no big deal. Life goes on, though. Remember that, though. Life do go on. Reprove, meaning correct. Rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's what the men of the Lord do. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't want to hear the truth no more. They don't want to hear sound doctrine no more. They're tired now. But after their own lust, after their wicked desires, because that's what the word lust means, desire. But after their wicked desires, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Anything that sounds good. You, you seeing that heavy now, man. More than ever. But it was written already. It happened thousands of years ago. It's coming right back because the same people. Remember the, the old saying, um, the world repeats itself because the same people coming back. The same players, man. Having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Uh, Israel, are you not hearing this? It's men and women that are going to stop listening to the truth. Don't be surprised. Why are, you, why are you so surprised? Now, you might be surprised of whom, who actually it happens to. But don't be surprised when it happens because it's a scripture. Guys turning their resignation. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm big mad. I'm big mad. Well, if you was mad, why didn't you say something when you was part of the camp? You wait till you leave the camp. I'm mad. I'm mad. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, man. Just leave. Keep doing your videos and pray that the Lord have mercy on you. Just like all of us. That's, that's what we're constantly praying. We're praying for mercy. We, we ain't made it yet. We ain't saved yet. We don't know who the Lord is going to beam up into a chariot. We constantly pray that we're Lord willing part of that hopeful number every day. But you sure enough ain't going to enter into a chariot, you know what I'm saying? If you're out here bugging the hell out, bringing down the scriptures wrong, you know, that, that, that that's not going to happen. The Lord said, they that believe do enter into the rest. Those that got faith in your shy do enter into thy rest. Not a bunch of bug outs. Then you got guys talking about some, they ain't learn from nobody. They learn from the men in the Bible. Yeah, you learn from the men that's in the Bible. This only scene right about now. Remember, remember reincarnation? 
The men is written up in the Bible. Guess what? They're on the scene now teaching you. <laughs> you bug outs, man. For the time will come where they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own desires, you know what I'm saying, aka lust, shall they keep to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned unto fables. Lies, man. L lies, man. They, they, they continue in the thing what they were taught, which they learned. Now, now they didn't learn from nobody. Oh, Lord. They didn't, they didn't learn from nobody. You see. Matter of fact, before I, before I even get anything else, they didn't learn from nobody. They learned from the men that's written up in the Bible. Yeah, the men that's written up in the Bible, the men that's written up in the Bible are on the scene right about now in 2023 teaching you. They taught you everything you know. Romans chapter 10. Just, just something quick. I'm, I'm about to roll out. Romans chapter 10, verse, six, verse 15. Matter of fact, um, 13. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. A quick little read. Romans chapter 10, verse 13. For whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Who, who taught you the name of the Lord? You learned that on your own too, right? You learned that from the men in the Bible, right? You ain't learned it from the men that's actually on the earth right about now, right? You, who, who did you learn? Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, Brakatha. Who, who you learned that from? Huh? Who you learn about the chariots from? Huh? Who did you learn about the sea hip from? Huh? Was it men in the Bible or was it the men that's written of in the Bible that's on the earth right about now? So you're supposed to get credit where credit is due, but that pride, you see, pride always go before destruction and the heart of the spirit before fall, right? You see, who, you, who did you learn about sleazy? Who taught you about sleazy? Who taught you who the Edomites were? A bunch of damn ungrateful bees. I'm, I'm trying to be kind of like, uh, you know, trying to calm, calm my rude speech down, son. How shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? So, but you learned it on your own. You learned the truth on your own. You, you didn't learn from a preacher, aka a teacher, aka a prophet. You learned everything on your own because you just that bad. Michael Jackson, who's bad? You, you bad. You, you need to go get some sleep. Major highway shut down, down 18 wheelers, turning over. That weather out there, something serious, man. The Lord really getting it in, man. And how shall they hear without a preacher, man? We all learn this word from men on the earth. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For, for um, Elijah says, Isaiah Salakian, for Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth and their words until the end of the world, a.k.a. putting up these videos and they going out throughout the Internet from men on the earth. You see, from men on the earth, man. We still remember now, look, everything's going digital. Look, you, you, you playing around. Remember, and I'm not going to be the dead horse. I'm, I'm probably about to go in and wrap it up. Remember, feed my shit. You played around. You you want you want to leave? Leave. Just go teach. Go teach the truth. The truth is what's going to set our people free, not lies, man. All right? So I ain't going to be the dead horse. Man. I just wanted to bring out something through the spirit. Lord willing, the elect was edified. Look, look. Feed the flock. Look, the, the spirit. Matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Uh, look, guys ain't, guys ain't measuring the time either. Guys is, guys is not measuring the time. You're supposed to me be measuring the time diligently. All hell breaking loose, uh, uproars, everything. Matter of fact, let's go here. I just, I just want to bring that out right quick. Just want to bring that out right quick. Just a little bit, a quick little read. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, and it reads, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Do not, are you not measuring the time? If the only thing that you're talking about is King David, the New Covenant, and, and all this other um, this madness, 
Because talking about King David and talking about the new covenant is not madness, you know what I'm saying? But how these false prophets, you know what I'm saying, are going about it. It's madness. Saying that they're King David. Saying that we we perfect already. We ain't perfect. Hell, my knees aching now. So we perfect now. We ain't perfect, man. Still in this sinful flesh, man. We perfect, man. We perfect. Yeah, perfect in understanding 100% truth according to the Bible, but these bodies damn sure ain't perfect. You see? These, these guys bugging out. Some of them, some of them um, they per, their bodies are perfect. They perfect. They saying that with a damn major headache, with a damn migraine. <laughs> Stomach hurting. <sighs> hey, look, a aging, getting old as hell. You see, black all raccoon eyes, well, oh yeah, you, you perfect. You see, and look, look, and, and on top of everything else, drunk just out there, drunk as hell teaching. Yeah, just drunk as hell teaching the Bible, but oh yeah, you perfect. Come on, man. Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, race wars, class wars, civil wars, earthquakes, storms, the love of many, waxing cold, the, the, the issuing in of the sea hip. Sleazy making it a digital system. Once again, pretty much every store that I went into yesterday, I was in Charlotte yesterday. yesterday every store that I went into, you had to use a credit card. They look, they ain't take cash. For men are focused on the wrong things. You see the signs, signs everywhere, man. Which I had told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made. So look, Lord, yeah, I wish I was on his way. You, you think the Lord coming back, you know what I'm saying? You think that when the Lord come back, he want to hear you talking about King David and all this other bugged out madness that you're talking about. The through, the through crew. Then you got guys been around three years, some of some day elders. Some some damn apostles. This, this shit, this, a bunch of damn ret retardos, man. A bunch of retardos, man. And all, and all you head demons, you know what I'm saying, disresponsible, you know what I'm saying, for that nonsense, the Lord really going to pick a bone with you. You see? Therefore, when there should, therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, it's earthquakes everywhere, you see? Matter of fact, let's just get the earthquake app. It's just quick. It's just quick. Bear with me. Let's just get the earthquake app. Remind me later. Let's get this. Look, earthquake 11 minutes ago. It's early as hell in the morning, and you got 36 earthquakes already. Today is the 13th, man, and you got 2,234 earthquakes, 709 earthquakes this week, man. These are tall tale signs that the Lord is on his way. The, the, the tall tale signs, man. Uproars of the people. The Lord said, uproars of the people. Let's just read that part again. Just read that part again. Second Ezra 9, chapter, just go back here. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse um, 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, which we're seeing that, uproars going into protests. Of the people in the world, all over the world, then then shall thou well understand that that the most I spoke of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the words of the, the heavenly Father, been prophesying, Lord Yahweh Shai, been prophesying. You see, somebody hit a damn power pole, caught to all the hell. You see, breaking news, just, just, just breaking news in the news, just breaking news. Damn that storm, tore some shit up. That storm tore some shit up. Another storm came through Georgia. A storm in Alabama. But you got these drunk ass ninjas just all on the camera. You know what I'm saying? Talking about King David. You know what I'm saying? And they perfect and all this right here, man. The hobby lobbies, damn. Tore everything up, man. The storm tore every damn thing up. These part of the signs that the Lord is on his way. Yeah, tore the whole damn building. Bricks everywhere. Bricks everywhere. For like is all that is made in the world have the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. The word manifest, God damn. Damn, Alabama. That's we're, we're, we're praying for the whole for elect of the nation of Israel. Nobody else, man. Whatever city that is in Alabama, the Lord came through with a storm and ripped that shit to shreds, man. All right? Damn. 
guys are getting ready to get visited by Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, great misery, great misery is coming upon you people. Shalom.